Hi, I'm John. Welcome to The Vault. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about the ultra-rare Alpha 10D. This camera was made between 1968 and 1976, with a total production of 2,500. You had your choice of chrome or a satiny black finish with black, dark red, or green leathering. They also made a version that had a crystal painted top body panel and black leathering. They had only manufactured about 946 of those. The one that we have here has a crystal painted top body panel and red leathering. They only manufactured 45 of this particular model. This camera literally is a masterpiece of Swiss engineering. Every Alpa was custom built to order, just like the Swiss watches of its time. At launch, the Alpa 10D was touted as being compact and lightweight. However, I can tell you that this camera is far from lightweight. It is solid and heavy, but the sheer craftsmanship that went into this camera is outstanding. The 10D has a precision ground prism with a parallax free through the lens viewing system. Overall, I would say the viewfinder is very easy to frame and focus. The Alpha 10D does have some differences from the cameras that were coming out around this time. Unlike most cameras, you pull the film advance towards you using your index finger instead of pushing it away from you with your thumb. And the shutter release button is actually located on the front of the camera, meaning you could use your index finger or your middle finger to release the shutter. Overall, this took me a little while to get used to, but it makes sense. On the top of the camera, on the right hand side, you will find the shutter speed and ISO dial. And on the left hand side, you will find the film rewind knob along with the hot shoe. The shutter speed dial is an easy turn, which can shoot from one over one thousandth of a second all the way down to one second. It even has a bulb mode for long exposure. If you need to change your ISO, all you have to do is press down and turn. The ISO range on this camera is three to 6,400, which is pretty impressive for a camera from the late 60s. Something that I found really unique and interesting about this camera is the film rewind knob. It's on a hinge, a hinge. I mean, it. It made it so much more comfortable and easy to rewind the film. It just goes to show you how much detail Alpa was putting into these cameras. This component is so unique that Alpa felt the need to give it a name. The high speed parallelogram rewind crank. It was designed in an era where nearly every camera used one of two generally identical mechanisms. A flippy crank that extends from a circular knob or a knurled knob with no crank. The shutter release is located on the front of the camera. Again, different from the typical design of most traditional SLRs. With this lens, a half press shows you the depth of field preview. With a turn of this knob, activates depth of field preview at all times. Having the stop before the actual shutter release can make the camera feel more stable. And I believe that this is great for a long lens situation. Overall, this camera feels robust, durable, and extremely well made. Every detail and small nuance of the Alpa 10D seems precise and deliberate. Here are some of the shots that I got with this camera. I had a lot of fun shooting with this camera. Let us know in the comments below what you would like to see featured next time on The Vault. I'm John, and I'll see you in the next one.